Good morning, family. I'm back. <laughs> For those of you who know me. <laughs> but it's good to be back with you. For those who don't know me, hi. <laughs> Yeah, my name is Shane. I was on staff here for uh, 55 years. No, just no. no. Almost 17 years on staff here. This was home. So a uh, car knows how to get here very easily. And uh, I brought my girls with me today. That's Julia over there. That's Ella. And my bride and my son, they're here as well. So it's good to be with you today. Thanks for asking us to come and, and lead you in worship this morning. So why don't we all stand and get into the holiday season with a good old Christmas carol, okay? Church. My name is Gabriel. Today I'll be reading from 1 Peter 1, 3 through 4. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil, or fade. This inheritance is kept in heaven for you. Let's continue to worship the Lord. I was lost, but he brought me know his love. See 
Praise you, Lord Jesus. Beautiful, wonderful, powerful name. Lord, you are our hope. There is none that come before you, Lord. We worship and praise you this morning. Just say that name where you're standing right now. Just say Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We celebrate you this morning. We lift our voices to you. continue in that attitude of worship. You may be seated. We're going, we're going to come to the table of, of communion this morning. Um, ask the ushers if anybody doesn't have the elements, if you could raise your hands. Jesus himself who 
you said when we take this bread and we, we take this cup, that we do this in remembrance of him. That this is a, this is a time when we remember that the grace that, that God bestows upon us the eternal life that we have, the forgiveness of sins. It's because of the broken body and the shed blood of Jesus Christ. That's for us. That's what we remember right now. And not only that, but we also get the benefits of being children of God. We get to be part of a community. We get to be part of a family because of the sacrifice that Jesus made for us. And more than that, we also have hope. We have hope that one day with our, with our family that we will sit at that, that table with Jesus Christ himself and enjoy his presence and the presence of each other. This is a message for everybody. This is a message for everyone who believes. This morning, you might need that grace from God. You might need his forgiveness. You might need his mercy. You might be lonely this morning and you need a family. You might need hope this morning. This is what these elements represent. That is Jesus Christ and his sacrifice that provides us that love, that mercy, that grace, that hope. We have that in Jesus Christ. And that's what we remember this morning. In John 6, 35, Jesus said, whoever comes to me will never be hungry. Whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. If you're hungry and thirsty for love, for, for forgiveness, for grace, for hope this morning, this is for you. This is your moment to come to the table. On the night he was betrayed, Jesus took the bread and he broke it. And he said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Let us take the bread. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And then he took the cup. And he said, this is the new covenant in my blood. When you come together, do this in remembrance of me. Let us take the cup. We praise you this morning, Lord. We do praise your name. We thank you, Lord, that, that your word is true. And we know that when we come to you and we believe in you, we will never be hungry. Will we never be thirsty, Lord? That your love is unfailing and never ending. And so we praise you this morning and we give you glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.